Hello there. My name is Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. In this video, I want to show us how to write significance of the study in our thesis or dissertation. this lecture we are going to cover four things we we'll introduce the lecture we we'll show you the guides to follow when writing the significance of the study we we'll provide example using our topic that we have been working on and we we'll conclude the lecture the significance of the study is an essential part of the of every project or thesis and it explains the primary contribution of the research work. It is basically the justification of the importance of the research work and its relevance to the field of study. In this section of significance of study, what is expected basically is to show who are the beneficiaries of the study and how will they benefit. Those two things are very important who will benefit from the study and how will they benefit from the study. So some of the guiding principles we can follow while writing our significance of the study are the first thing is you identify the gaps in existing research. So by identifying the gap in existing research, it will set the tone for you to write a good significance of the study. This will help you to establish the relevance of the research work and the contribution of that research work to the field. And the second thing is the significance of study should explain the potential outcome as it will help to establish the importance of the research work and its potential impact in the field of study. You should identify the major beneficiaries of the study. Like I stated earlier, by identifying the major beneficiary, you will also state how they are going to benefit specifically. So this will help you to establish the relevance of the research work and the potential impact it will have on them and the society. You should also focus on the subject areas of the study as it will help you to establish the relevance of the research work and the contribution to the field. You should provide a logical reasoning that will help you to establish the relevance of the research work and the contribution to the field. You should describe the contribution of the study to the broad literature or set of broad educational problems upon contribution. It should also flow naturally from the problem, aims and objectives, and the rationale for the study. You should be able to put your finding into perspective and outline the contribution of the finding in terms of the implications and application. This will help you to establish the relevance of the work and its potential impact on the society. Here I provided an example of the significance of the study on the topic effect of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. If you have been following this lecture series, this is the topic that we have been using to show examples of whatever aspect of research we have treated. So if for more content on this research series, kindly go to our YouTube channel at Data Analytica. So you go to the playlist, research methods, view, full list, these are some of the contents we have provided. We have provided content on what is research, how to generate research topic, research problem, research questions, objectives, and hypotheses. There are other contents there too, useful productivity content. I'll put the link right under this video enjoy let's go back to so the significance of the study for this topic effect of online customer reviews on purchase decision of customer brands in nigeria first we said 
the effect of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria is a topic that has not been extensively researched. However, with the increasing trends of consumers sharing their shopping experiences on the network platform, it is important to investigate the impact of online reviews on purchase decisions of customers. The significance of this study lies in the following. First, we look at the identification of the existing gap by saying there is a lack of research that systematically combines the identified topic factors with multiple characteristics of online reviews to investigate the impact of customer reviews on consumer purchase decision. This study aims to fill this gap by investigating the impact of online customer reviews on purchase decision of computer brands in Nigeria. We also state the relevance of the study to the field. This study is relevant to the field of marketing and consumer behaviors as it investigates the impact of online customer reviews on purchase decision of computer brands in Nigeria. This is important as it will provide insight into the factor that influence consumer behaviors in Nigerian market. We also look at the potential outcome. The study will provide insight into the impact of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. This will help computer brands to understand the factors that influences consumer behavior in the Nigerian market and develop strategies to improve their online reputation. We talked about the beneficiaries and how they benefit. The study will benefit computer brand manufacturers in Nigeria by providing insights into the factors that influence consumer behavior in the Nigerian market. It will also benefit consumers by providing them with information on the impact of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. Conclusively, the study on the impact of online customer review on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria is significant as it will fill the gaps in existing research, provide insight into the factor that influences consumer behavior in the Nigerian market and benefit computer brands and consumers alike. So this is the significance of study that we have written for this, our topic. In conclusion, the significance of the study is an essential part of any project dissertation or thesis. It explains the primary contribution of the research work. While writing it, it should be focused on the subject area of the study and provide logical reasons for the importance of the work. It should also describe the contribution of the study to the broad literature or set of broad educational problems upon contribution. And finally, the significance of the study should flow naturally from the problem, aims and objective and the rationale of the study. If you enjoyed this lecture, I implore you to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our video, comment on area you feel we can improve on it. And if you have any question to ask, kindly put your question down in the comment section. Thank you for listening.